Hey, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. A fun fact for you today because of the theme of the video. Did you know that soft, rosy pink lips are actually a sign of youthfulness and proper health? and proper hydration and that is why pale lips or dry discolored lips are like a huge complaint amongst a lot of people but do not get upset in this video i'm actually going to show you how to restore your natural lip color protect your natural lip color and enhance your natural lip color starting with the first tip ah uh, put the cup down yeah put it down if there's coffee in it because one of the main causes for dark discolored lips is putting your lips daily against dark liquids like juice, tea, coffee, red wine. Red wine is the worst. Red wine stains. Use a straw. I knew someone actually in real life that had stains around their lips because of drinking dark liquids. Uh, the main cause was red wine. So if you can avoid it or just use a straw. The next tip exfoliate most people don't know that one of the reasons why your lips are discolored is because there's too many dead cells on the surface of your lips and you should exfoliate weekly like two to three times a week it's going to help them age better and it's going to get the blood flowing and it's going to get the natural color of your lips back now here's a recipe all you need is some extra virgin olive oil or you can use your favorite oil or honey mix it with some sugar you just need a little bit of each because they're just our little lips we don't need too much Stir it around a little bowl like so, and then afterwards, gently massage it around the surface of your lips. Now, you don't want to do too much. Just gent. If your lips start bleeding, then you know that you're going. You're doing it too rough. Maybe like 10, 15 seconds, and then afterwards, you can lick it off or wipe it off with a washcloth. It'll probably keep this color for like 20 minutes or so, and then after that, it will start to fade a bit. The next thing you can do, like I said earlier, is with a tooth brush just go ahead and gently massage in circular motion around your lips and then afterwards you always want to make sure that you apply some nourishing lip balm after you exfoliate because you don't want to you know irritate your lips or dry it out or anything like that okay so now the next step is actually another way to exfoliate and this is using an orange peel or something with citric acid a lemon peel a grapefruit peel because the citric acid in the peel is actually going to help exfoliate and restore our lips natural color so you just go ahead and after your lunch save the peel and rub it around in a circular motion and then go ahead and apply your lip balm you can do this a few times a week actually and then the next tip is actually to stay hydrated we i mean you can tell in your hair your skin your the the way your brain is functioning you can tell when you're dehydrated but you can also tell in your lips we're made of like 50 60 percent water so you want to make sure that you're drinking like 64 ounces a day this way your lips are at its full pinkiest pinkiest plumpiest now for the ones who like to rock the dark lipsticks make sure that you are removing them 100 percent because a lot of the times we think we removed it but we did not remove it all and certain chemicals in lips in certain lipsticks can actually cause discoloration in our lips so you want to make sure that you're removing it 100 percent before you go to sleep at night you don't want to sleep with lipstick on with makeup wipes it took me going over my lips like 10 different times to get the lip color 100 percent completely off my lips i mean this stuff is tough so you want to make sure that you're really getting it off all right, the next tip we actually do not think about often, but you need to protect your lips from the sun, actually, because we don't, there's no sunglasses for our lips. We need SPF, just like we would apply it to our faces and our bodies. The sun affects our lips too, and that's why they make lip balms with SPF in it now. So make sure that you're using it because you really wanna make sure that you're not protecting everything but your lips, okay? Now, the next few tips that I'm gonna tell you are actually things that you can do to just enhance you know, your natural lip, to make it look natural, but it's not really natural, like lip stain and stuff like that. All right, so the first makeup tip is if you like the look of naturally pink lips with a little bit of gloss over it, just try going out and buying a tinted lip balm. It's the easiest way to get natural looking pink lips. And you know, no one will even know that it's like tinted lip balm. The next one, if you don't wanna go out and spend the money on any new products, then just take like some matte blush or some matte eyeshadow and go ahead and match it up to your lips and see what color is like one or two shades darker than your lips but still looks like your natural lip color, if that makes any sense. So I chose this color right here. 
And then what I did was I applied my clear balm and then I just added a couple of dabs of that paint color to the balm and just smeared it around a little bit and it just gives your lips a really natural pink color and it lasts. You wanna avoid shimmer though. Shimmer doesn't really look natural. Okay, now this is my favorite tip probably in this entire video besides the drinking water and it's the best DIY lip stain ever. It's better. I don't even recommend buying lip stain anymore because you just need to use the Kool-Aid man. Okay, he made us happy when we were little. He's gonna make you happy when you older, girl. Don't throw away your old containers because these, I mean, I have so many of these like up in my cabinet because they always come in handy. Pour an entire packet, make sure it's red though. You don't wanna end up with like blue or purple and like you, it'll get you, it'll trick you and it stains, okay? So don't mess up. Anyways, just pour it away into a little container like so. Store it away. When you're ready, just lick your finger the smallest amount. I'm telling you the smallest amount. Like don't even. And then just go ahead and just lightly, see? Massage it onto your lips lick your finger again and then apply it to the top part of your lip and then do the same thing with the other part of your lip and then afterwards I just kind of like you know I there's a lot of licking going on okay I, I licked my lips and just kind of smeared it around and then at, look at this color oh are you honestly gonna spend $20 on lip stain ever again no you're gonna spend 60 cents okay this stuff really stains though I'm just warning you because that was on my finger for like an entire day Okay, it's gonna stain for like 24 hours, but then after that it comes off. Keeping it. Thank you, Kool-Aid man. Once again, you did it. Look at him, proud of himself. It's actually it, guys. I hope that you guys liked all of these tips um, that I gave you guys, and all of these combined will help you have nice, soft, pink, pinker lips. So if you guys want more videos like this, then comment or hit the like button and I will do more, and I'll see you guys um, on Saturday with a new video. Okay? I love you. Bye.